<laughs> I, uh, I often get asked a lot since I've been doing the whole sobriety kick if I miss it, if I miss partying, and I'm like, no, nah, not so much. I, I had a good 15 year run, that's 12 years past most normal adults, right? I, uh, one thing I do miss is some of my old drinking buddies, one especially, I met this guy in college, best friend forever. Uh, the reason I met him was accidental. I showed up to freshman orientation like four hours late, they didn't know what to do with me. So they just shoved me in a room full of foreign exchange students, right? So in this room, I don't know what's going on. It was just like happenstance, like the room parted open and right in front of me was this adorable five foot four Korean foreign exchange student, right? Instantly we became friends. The guy barely spoke 20 words of English, Max. We'd hang out, we'd go party all the time. And if you guys have not partied with somebody who orders like Jaeger bombs in a broken accent, you're the ones doing it wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was a great guy. He spoke the international language of college. He spoke alcohol, so we got along really well. <laughs> and for the first two months, he just kind of attached himself to my hip everywhere we went. So every time I take him someplace, I can never remember like his real name. <laughs> so I'd always just introduce him as Yoshi. <laughs> it was his favorite Mario Kart player. He doesn't look like a Chad. It's Yoshi, everybody. <laughs> right. I, uh, I'll never forget the party experience. Uh, he introduced me to this place called Las Vegas, if you guys haven't been there before. It's one of the reasons it took me 10 years to get a bachelor's degree, right? Left all my tuition on those tables. Uh, this is one of those party stories where we show up and it's like a nightmare situation. It was like a holiday weekend, we get to the hotel, all the computer systems are down except for one. It's like a three hour check-in to get in. And we're kind of taking turns by half hour rotation, all the guys are drinking, coming back. It's Yoshi's turn, and I come back and get him out of line so he can go have fun. And we showed up, he was missing, he was gone. And everybody was freaking out, right? Because the last time we went to Vegas with Yoshi and he disappeared, we found him hours later back in the hotel room on the floor of the bathroom in his boxers with a ball gag around his mouth. <laughs> and a masculine hooker passed out in the bathtub next to him. <laughs> yeah. So we were on high alert looking for this guy everywhere we could go. Like, where's Yoshi? Storming around the casino, we finally find him like 20 minutes later. He's got a giant smile on his face. He's like, I got us a room comp. We're like, great, how'd you do that? He goes, oh, I lost next semester's tuition to the crap tables. We're like, awesome! Right? Even flow, let's go do this. Great time that night. We went out clubbing, went to bars, talking to ladies, meeting ladies. Got a lady to come back to the room with me that night. And uh, this is Vegas, right? So I'll just scare the details. You know what's going down, right? It's time. I did all my sweet talking. The number one rule in Vegas is you never go raw in Vegas, right? So it's about to happen, it's consensual. I pull it out a condom, I go to put it on. She looks down at me for a second, she starts backing up. She's like, hold on a second, I have some questions. And I was like, oh, absolutely, I'm clean, I've been tested. What other lies do you need to hear tonight? Are you doing this? <laughs> she goes, no, is that an unlubricated condom? I was like, God, no, I'm not a monster. <laughs> She put out an admission to me. She goes, well, what kind of lubricant's on it? I was like, I don't know. WD-40, I don't. I know I'm supposed to have one. I'm not a chemist. Did I fail a test here? And she starts explaining how she has like this random allergy to different lubricants. And I'm just like, start tuning her out. Because in my mind, I'm like, what asshole has unlubricated condoms? Who's this girl walking? This guy walking up, the girl's like, all right. Tonight, we're gonna try out all that painful friction of prison sex. <laughs> oh no, we'll be safe during the whole ordeal. It's ridiculous. She starts asking me, well, do you have like anything that would like help? I'm like, give me a second, let me check the room. So I start digging through the room, digging through my buddy's bags to like find something that like loosely matches her criteria. <laughs> start digging through my buddy Yoshi's bag and I find something, I start giggling. It's Vegas, just roll the dice and gamble. I take it, I smile, I kind of toss it over to her. She gets it, she opens it up and looks at it for about two seconds and then she gets pissed. She's like, are you serious? This is a shower cap. I'm like, yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> no leaks, no lube. That was what you're looking for, right? Figure we get our giggles, the night's done. She pulls it out of the package though. She starts playing with it, playing with it a lot. She turns sideways and she starts trying to apply it. Oh, that silence was me too. <laughs> Like, what the shit is this? Here I thought I got a weird allergy girl. Now I'm intrigued. Because I'm pretty sure I just found the MacGyver of dental dams, right? <laughs> if 
Finally, she's done filling with it. She motions over. She pats the bed. She's like, come over here. I'm like, all right, what's going on? And then she starts trying to make out because she wants to make it romantic again. Oh, that ship's already sailed, sweetheart. <laughs> this kitten's curious. I start pawing at her thighs to see what's going on. I finally get her to crack him a little bit. I look down, and I couldn't bite my lip fast enough. Because from my angle, between her legs, it looked like... You guys ever tried to make a pot of coffee before? <laughs> but you grab a filter that's way too big for the pot, and at some point you're like, mm, fuck it, you punch it on in, and then it's bunched up all around the edges, just like that with a little drawstring hanging there. I couldn't stop laughing. I lost my shit. She goes from mildly embarrassed to ragefully pissed. She pulls out her homework assignment and she throws it across the room. She gets dressed, she cusses me out, and then she slams the door into the Vegas night. Say la vie is the song, guys, right? Here's the thing, I'm in Vegas with my buddies. I go downstairs, I get wasted with them, and I do not mention a word of this to anybody. I get woken up the next morning, we're all hungover, it's early, there's some banging around the room. And out of the corner of my eye, I see my little buddy Yoshi in a towel, he's just kind of scampering around. He finally sees the corner of the bed, picks up his shower cap, and he looks at it, looks at all of us, looks back at the shower cap, shrugs, he puts it on and runs and takes a shower. Yeah, yeah. This is the story gets a little sad, though. It was a couple months after that incident that Yoshi died in a car accident. I told you he was Asian. Where did you think this was going? He got into, like, racing, and that's, like, a Greek tragedy for them. <laughs> Yeah, I'll never forget the text my buddy Brad sent me. It's like, hey, Yoshi was an accident. We don't think he's going to make it. And the only thing I could reply back at the time was, what took him out? Was it the giant turtle shell banana peel? Which one got Yoshi, everybody? <laughs> Which one got him? <laughs> Is that too much? You're not a Mario Kart fan? I got you. Donkey Kong's Mario style? It was a couple years ago, I actually got to tell that story at his memorial to the horror of his family. <laughs> but my friends really appreciate it, because we realized he went to his grave without ever knowing that shower cap was inside that girl the night before. So, 